All right. All right, all right, all right. One second, y'all. Let me get this together. All right, all right. Can y'all hear me now? It's your boy, Jake Fields. Inspired. Yeah, we here. Now, let me turn these headphones on. The sound might go out, but we're going to see. All right, can y'all hear me now? Can y'all hear me now? No? Yes? No? Maybe so? You know? Y'all hear me? Come on, come on down. Somebody talk to me. Okay. I am using my headphones, so... Uh... All right, there it is. We, we, we in here, baby. We're going to get this together as the days uh, go on, you know? We gonna we gonna get it together, but y'all, so you know, boy, you know, so anyway, it's your boy Jay with Finish Fight. We here, baby. Virgo, Chaplin, preacher, minister. You know, we here. We are. So if the sound is a little off. Top, you know, laptop. We're working on some equipment and things like that. So y'all just bear with your boy. I appreciate y'all. Y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. We get into the room. Hit notification bell and join the membership to support the channel. If you need to talk to me about your personal situation, you know what to do. Hit the link in the description and you can schedule a time to talk to your boy. All right. So, how y'all doing today? Shout out to City, where you're from, all that good stuff. Zodiac sign. So, today, man, we're going to talk about a little, a little cool little topic. I kind of covered this in, in videos before. You know, um, we're going to talk about um, how to make Virgo men go crazy. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to talk about how to make Virgo men go crazy on a date. And how to make Virgo men go emotionless and Y'all work with me, work with me, work with me. All right, what about now, y'all? What about now? Cape Town in the house. Back in the saddle. Sound good? Yeah, because the sound ain't good, ain't that good. You get me? Yeah, so we talk about uh, Virgos and, and, and how I make them go crazy on a date, you know. And the number one thing, like I was saying, is uh, we are men just like other men, and we now we're not necessarily uh, driven by the physical, right? But nevertheless, I mean, we like. To the Belinda in the house. Mental is mental. See, struggles is of eclectic people, right? They like eclectic type of things. Got Pennsylvania in the house, was good. It's good, E. Williams. You know what I'm saying? We out here. 
Got Cape Town. You know what I'm saying? Lithia. That's what it is. Dallas Pisces in the house. Audio was that? Houston Libras in the house. Nice picture. But yeah, y'all look we up in here, man. I mean say I mean can you say as Virgo, are you still trading? I'm scared of us. True. But listen. Make sure. Oh, see the audio keep messing up. Forget the headphones, baby. Forget the headphones. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do we're gonna do it like this. But um oh, okay. Cancel cute and cancel, Sam, in the house. Let me, let me listen to some, some chat to them lip. I don't know where they're But listen, uh we got Germany in the house. All the way from Germany, baby. Mm-hmm. MG. From the GE. Listen, on a date, make sure you smell good. Make sure you smell good because Virgo, we we're, we're sort of eclectic like that. Um, and before I go on, y'all, we try to get the sound work that okay. It's 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 it work with me, we'll be better and better as we go along. But um you gotta smell good. Virgos love a woman that smells good. Who doesn't love a woman that smells good? Look, a woman's a woman that smells good, it's like walking to your grandma's house smelling grandma cookies. It gives you a good feeling. You're like, man, why does she smell so good? You know, why does she smell so good? That Boston in the house. You know what I'm saying? Why does she smell so good? Ladies, smell good. Just like you love how a man smells good, a man love how you smell good as well. Because ain't nothing, nothing, nothing better than that smell good. Let me tell you. Um, I remember when I was in college, and this woman walking down the sidewalk on campus, and you know, she was looking good. But no, I didn't say nothing to her. I was on my way to the cab. And she passed by me and she smelled so good. I was like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh my God. I had looked back. I was like, yo, come back. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it was just, she smelled so good, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I'll never forget that. So if you're on a date with a Virgo man, Make sure you smell good. And you say, is that a Virgo thing or just a man thing? It's both. You're right. Is that a Virgo thing or a man thing? You know, he's right. Men love them to smell good too. Now, don't get it, don't get it twisted. We love it. But I, I think it, it does get all men like that. It really does. It does. Um, it gets us real heavy, you know. But listen, uh, in my opinion, I know everybody's different, but I think a lot of Virgo men, for some reason, love vanilla fragrance. I don't know what it is. I talked to a bunch of Virgo dudes like, yo, that vanilla fragrance is it. So uh, ladies, if you want to date with Virgo man, get some vanilla fragrance. Vanilla fragrance, it won't leave you wrong. I'm telling you. It won't leave you wrong. See, when you smell good, you know, men like to be close to you. It make, it make a man want to get all up in your neck and just like, and just sniff. You know what I'm saying? I hope that don't sound too creepy. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to sound like a creep on you. <laughs> you know, because I'm not a creep. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what we like. But we like, we love when a woman smells good. You know, today's, uh, it's, it's special for a Virgo man. All men love smelling good. Yeah, it's special for us. You know, we just, it's just something to bring it out. But I say get, get some vanilla fragrance because vanilla fragrance, I don't know what it is. Because uh, I remember when I dated way back almost in high school, her, her favorite uh, fragrance was like vanilla. And she always smelled good. And every time I smelled on another room, I was like, yo, that's woo. For real. You know, 
Uh, I think I was on a date one time with a chick. She had like vanilla fragrance, and I'm like, ah. Even she got, even when she got out of the car, the car was still smelling like her. I'm like, mm. it just, it just reminded me of her. I know I wasn't sniffing the seat or nothing like that. I know some of y'all, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but that, that make me go crazy. I'm smelling good like that. Another thing that makes Virgo men go crazy on a date. You got a nice dress on, right, ladies? Get back to wearing dresses. But these dudes love women in dresses, right? You know, you got to understand, we're going to like real feminine women, you know, and dresses are very flowy. They look good. They fit your body right, you know? Well, well a, good, a good dress, a good, nice fitting dress, you know, like, like a sundress, it's almost sundress even. But smelling good, looking good with a dress on, I'm telling you, it, it, it makes it make it make him go crazy. And he, like, y'all know y'all be looking good. Y'all know y'all be looking good sometimes. Y'all know when y'all got it. I went on a date one time with this chick and um she had this dress on. I could not stop looking at her. You know what I'm saying? I was like, ooh, she was looking good, man. I was trying to, I was trying my best not to like, you know, be creepy or anything, but she was looking good. And the dress was fitting right, it was sitting right. It was, she was looking good. She was, you know, and I had a hard time focusing. You know, other people was looking too. So, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. And um, but I was, I was trying to hold hold my uh, composure. But she 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 knows she was doing it, man. You know, she knows she was doing it. She so looking good and she was smelling good. So I say, you know, you look get a nice dress. You know, my favorite color is black. Well, whatever color color you want, but kind of figure out the type of colors he like. You know, the type of Things that he like in women, and do that. You're going on a date, especially the first date. Because even if a Virgo man is mad at you, and you show up looking good and smelling good, he gonna rethink everything. You know what I'm saying? This is men in general. You know, look, I've been like mad at women. I'm talking about that I've dated or upset or something happened. I'm like, yo, I'm done with this chick, man. I I can't even do it, dog. Maybe maybe I, maybe I'm a little weak. But then I saw her and she showed up looking good, like looking good. I'm like, you know what? It might have not been that bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for real. It, it, you can't help it. It'll make you rethink everything. It, 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 it will. It will make you, as a man, because we you know we men. And especially if he hasn't seen you in a long time and you just show up looking good, it does something to a man to be an individual. This is who we are. You know, you're going to think about that thing. Like, y'all, she. Good. And especially when you're looking good and other people are kind of seeing that you're looking good. You know, ladies, y'all know when y'all got it that day. You know, y'all know. But a nice, nice dress, you know, it can be me personally, I like I like flowy dresses. But, you know, if you want to like a dinner date, a good form-fitting dress works too. A good form-fitting dress, nice flow, nice Classy form fitting, you know. I don't know the name of dresses, uh, the name of the styles. I can't tell you, but you know some some old dresses that uh, let's say I don't know they be having on like the Real Housewives of Atlanta or something like that, Potomac. I don't know, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Like when they be going out, those type of dresses where it's classy, it looks good, but it's still outgoing, you know. But just, but make it your own style, make it your own style, make it your own way, you know. So he likes to see the personality of you. But a good, nice dress, form fitting, you got a flowy dress. Even like a um, you, you can be a short dress, not too, too short. You know, you don't want to get too skimpy. But you know, y'all know y'all know what it is. Another thing that makes go real crazy on a date, if you have a nice, depending on where y'all are going, you know, in the occasion, you have a nice dress, but a nice dress with the back out. Lord. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a nice dress with the back out? Oh, man. He gonna be like, all right. What's, what's good? What's up? What you trying to do? What you trying to do me? You know, I'm just telling you what, what you guys like. You may not say this stuff, but a nice dress with the back out, that looks good. You know, it looks good. It looks good. A nice dress with the back out, man. You know, because you, you be trying to look at the back. Look, let me tell you something. I did this girl. She had like, uh, she had tattoos and stuff. 
I'm not like a super fan of tattoos, but I'm not like super against it either. But her tattoo was very classy and they, they looked good, you know. And she had like some tattoos on the shoulder and whatever, you know, kind of on the back a little bit, you know. So you don't really see them that much. But she had a dress with, we had on day, she had a dress with the back out. And I was like, yo, tats look good. It, it was, y'all. I was like, y'all was trying to, I was trying my best not to look at this girl. I was like, she caught me looking so many times. I'm like, man. You know, I know her around. She like my eyes are up here. You know what I'm saying? But she was looking good, y'all. What I was do? You know, I mean, she was, and that's thing with the Virgo nervous. Because the Virgos, they hold their composure a lot. They 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 very good at holding their composure and having a poker face. You don't know what they be thinking, but sometimes stuff like that can throw them off. You know, they start staring at you. They don't know what to do. You know, it's it's hard to throw a Virgo man off. It's hard. But it can be done. It can be done. It can be done. And stuff like that get it done. You know. It, it, it can be done, man. You know. So I need to talk to you. I'm a cap. My Virgo girlfriend is giving me a silent treatment. He has been mad at me four days now. He texts me. And then when I probably take the next day, it's fine. Dang, what you do? Give the silent treatment. You know. I say yeah, give him some time and space. I know four days is a lot of time. But uh, you, just, you need to set up a conversation with him and get to the bottom of what of what he's talking about because it's probably something quote unquote you did, you know, and um he probably want you to listen to him and his grievances without redirecting. I'm making an educated guess. I don't know 100 percent on the situation, but that's an educated guess. You know, but but uh yeah man be looking good a little dress with the back out. You look you have you have a dress on with the back out. You're looking good, you're smelling good. Like I can say a nice dress. And that back out, back shining, looking good. It's gonna be crazy, you know. He gonna be like, "Whoo, look at her!" Because it shows him that you know how to fix up and look good, you know. You know that you know how to look good and all that and all that good stuff like that. So, you know, let you clean up nice, you know. It it it, it cause men are visual. It shows him the type of woman he's gonna be getting. Cause men are men. You may call it shallow. I don't think it's shallow. Men like to have a good looking woman on their arm, you know. Men like to show their woman off. That's what men like. All men like that. You know? And, and, and when a woman look good, just like a woman, like when a man is about his business, because you can show your man off. My man, man, my man about his business. He's doing this. He's doing that. You know? Men like the same thing, but just in a different form. And so when, when you look good, you're like, hey, you make him, that's just what it is. Look at the music video. Look at the thing that men talk about in, on the celebrity, I'm just using celebrities because we all know them. They're not the standard. I'm not. I'm just using them because it's easy. It's easy reference. Look at the thing they talk about. I had a good woman on my arm. Da 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 da. da. You know, it's real. You know, he says, "Do believing in zodiac and preaching word of God go together?" I'm gonna say it doesn't. It doesn't go together. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not against it. Do I get this question a lot? So. I am, y'all know I am a minister, I'm a preacher, I'm ordained, all that good stuff. Um, zodiacs and astrology is really all throughout the Bible. You just gotta know what you're looking at, you just gotta know what you're reading. You know, um, people kind of demonize this stuff. They demonize uh, zodiacs a lot and astrology because the Bible talks about don't put no idol before me, don't worship other things before me, don't reach out to other stuff instead of me, you know. Basically, guys, they don't put that before me. So when people put stuff before God, that's when it becomes idol worship, right? Because anything can be idol worship. Money, a lot of people put their money before God. A lot of people put their uh, possessions before God, houses, cars, their wealth. So, you know, you can say Zoya, it's the same thing as that. If you put in your car and your money before God, it's, it's, it is against God. Because you can say, you know what? I'm not gonna trust in God, but I'm gonna trust in my money because I can see my money. You know what I'm saying? That's against God because God gave you that money. Same concept. You know, um, I believe, thoroughly believe that zodiacs and astrology is a part of who we are. It's another tool to understanding ourselves because we use all these things to understand who we are. Education, we, we go to therapy to understand our minds and our spirit. Well, mental health, to understand our minds and our spirit. We go to the doctors to understand our physical bodies and what's wrong with us. 
you know, we go to, to religion and spirituality, understand our spiritual. So why can't we go to like zodiacs and astrology and the cosmos to understand our place in in, in our, our in, in this realm in life and what we mean to the earth? It's a deeper because we are, we are more than just physical and spiritual beings. We are cosmetic beings. We come from the stars. I know this stuff sounds spooky to a lot of people, but it's not. You know, and I'm a, I know I'm off topic a little bit. I love this question though. Um, look at look at look at the earth. What the earth? Earth comes. The earth is a part of the solar system, right? The solar system is part of the universe. The same stuff that made up of the moon, the same stuff that made up of Jupiter, uh, all the other planets, is the same stuff that's on Earth. You know, uh, ast- not asteroids, <laughs> Lord. Scientists have um, um, took apart like asteroids and meteorites that fell to the Earth. You know, and they put it under like a microscope. And he found some of the same content that's right here on Earth. We are from the stars. If you look at the sun, let's take our sun. I don't want to go too far out. Let's take our sun. I'm going to get back on top of y'all, but I got to answer this question. If you look at our sun, right, we get energy from the sun. The sun is a star full of gas and all this other stuff, blowing up, burning up there, and all that good stuff. The sun sends energy down to the Earth, down to the plants and the animals. The plants take that energy from the sun and transform that energy through a process called photosynthesis into things that the plants can use to get it. The plants can uh, transform that energy so they can breathe, they can live, right? And the animals do it too. The animals eat the plants and other animals, taking that energy that has been transformed, put it into their bodies. We take that energy that has been transformed from the plants and the animals and we eat it, put it into our body, give, giving our bodies energy because without energy, we can't live, we will die and return back to the earth. So we get energy from the stars, which is our sun, right? And we transform that energy into to living, breathing human beings. But we, we, we get the energy from the stars, from, from the outer space. So if you can understand that concept, right? But you can't, not, I ain't gonna say you personally, I'm just saying in general. But a lot of people can't understand the concept, okay, my placement on this earth. So if you look at it like this, we all born at some point in time. Let's just say you born today. What's the day? March 20th, 2024. So, on March 20th, 2024, where is the Earth? The location of the Earth right now, March 20th, 2024. Where is the Earth in relation to the other planets? What spot is the Earth at as it go around the sun? Where is the Earth? You know, where is the Earth on that day, on this day, in relation to other planets? Where is the Earth in relation to other stars? Because we have a star map, if you look at stars, because the Earth moves and the Earth rotates. It does, and the Earth moves, and the Earth goes through seasons. And what you see today in the same place may not, you may not see that same position tomorrow because the Earth is moving. And so, since the Earth is moving, the Earth is going through season, and you're born on a certain day, what was going on on the day you was born? Where was the earth on the day on the day that you were born? What was what season was it on the day that you was born? Was it raining? Was it cold? You know, you gotta ask all these questions so when you break this stuff down. People born on certain days, you know, sometimes on certain days, certain season, they kind of behave a certain way. I know I know it took a long time to get, 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 get back there, but you gotta look at it like that. So yes, it does go together because all of this is a part of us, you know. Our ancestors created these things or, or interpreted these things so we can understand our place and understand ourselves better. You know, all that good stuff. But yeah, just, just, just going on that a little bit. Yes, indeed, it's a good topic. Back on topic, y'all. Um, so, another thing that uh, y'all know what I'm going to say next. Another thing to make a Virgo man go crazy on a date. Y'all already know. Wearing those toes out. Y'all know Virgos love feet. Virgos have a foot fetish. So, ladies, you got the dress on, you got the back out, you smelling good. Make sure them feet are together because Virgos, they're going to be looking. They're going to be looking. They're going to be looking. And when your feet are together, it sends them to another place. I don't know why we like this, but we do. We love a woman, woman feet and toes together, preferably French tips. You know, 
I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Preferably French tips. You know, they make them look good. You know, and, and wear a shoe or a heel that shows the curvature of your feet. You know, I know I'm not mine because look, there are whole foot pages on social media out there with people just showing their feet. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's a whole nother life. But I'm telling you because people like this type of stuff. You know, people appreciate this type of stuff. So what I'm saying, not far back. But anyway, make sure the heels are together. You know, and feet are together. All the, no crustiness, no bunions. But he gonna be looking. He gonna be looking. But when, when all that together, when you put all that together, you guys go crazy like, yo, she look good. Feet looking good. She got pretty feet. Oh my God. <clears throat> she got the back out. She's smelling good. She's looking good. She got the dress on. Another thing to make Virgos go crazy over you on a date. Um, if you have accessories, nice accessories to complement that. Because this shows your style. Because Virgo, they want to see your style. Okay, look. I see her. She look good. You know, she this and that. But let me see her style. Let me see her personality. Let me see what she got going on. You know. So good accessories will make things pop. Earrings, bracelets, the type of purse that you have. It it complements. Because don't you like a man that know that has a nice suit on and he knows how to wear that suit correctly? Like uh the haberdasheries, they they match the tie and this and that, his watch, you know, he's coordinated. Now you don't you don't want you don't want a man that's too over the top, but just nice and coordinated. You know, okay, this man he 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 got it together. I like the way I like the way I'm picking up what he put down. I like that. So Virgo's like the same thing. So you need to be looking good on this date, you know, and have nice accessories. They make you go crazy when you have all this all this stuff on the day. I'm trying to tell you, it looks good. I, I, I'm on date with a woman. I'm, I'm watching. I'm seeing how she put herself together. I was like, okay, I like that. Oh, you okay? It just shows your style, you know. It just shows your style, you know. It it, it does, and um, so you gotta do that. And, and another thing that is to continue that making go crazy on a date is having good conversation. You know, not only you looking good, you smelling good, your feet together. You know, you have good conversation because sometimes now when a woman looking good, smelling good, and all that stuff. Sometimes her head is up in the clouds and she look good. She look too good for her own good. She look too good to the point where she's stuck up. She can't nobody say nothing to her. So, but ain't nothing better than a woman that's looking good, but she has a great attitude and personality. You be like, oh man. And I might be like, yo, not only does she look good, not only does she smell good, but she's fun to talk to. We having a good time. She down to earth. This, I'm telling y'all, this may go crazy. Because it's just like she's a total package. Because we see women who look good all the time, they stuck up. You can't even speak to them, but I mean, you know. But a woman that's looking good, like, you know, hey, how you doing? Like, how you doing? You know, even if she ain't trying to talk to you, her attitude is still good. You know, what I mean? you know? Cause I've been turned down by 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 great looking women, but it turned out in a good way, but they, they weren't trying to talk to me, but it was it was all good. I wouldn't even like, oh, okay. She wasn't feeling me, but I like her attitude, it's all good. You know, no harm, no fire. You know, for real, for real. Yo, hit me up, man. Look, hit the link in the description. Schedule a session. Schedule a time. Talk to your boy. You know, the fancy mom says, I would say, I agree that Virgo men love a feminine woman. But he also likes to be understood from a woman's point of view. I gave my Virgo man a book, something I read before he loved it. Yes, indeed, it's a good comment because, um, Virgo men do like to be understood, you know, from a woman's point of view, you know, because like it kind of goes with what I just said. I mean, good conversation, you know, when you when you are attentive and listen to the things that he said, y'all can just have a good time and talking and pay attention to the things that he likes, you know, it shows him that you are really that chick. Because I, although I just named and talked about a lot of physical stuff, these things add to it. Like I said, it, it, it's like a total package. So yeah, that's that's, that's real. You say, yeah, I knew he was interesting, and also because I listened to him. I did not just say that. It's real, you know. It, it, it's another thing. Listen to him. That makes a man go crazy. A verbal man go crazy. Y'all, what I say all the time. Um, the Erica Badu thing. They ask Erica Badu why she's so successful with men. I guess you can argue if she's successful or not, but she do get a lot of high profile men. She said her secret is that she listened to them. 
men don't have a lot of people that listen to them. I'm trying to tell y'all, we hold a lot of stuff in. And there are a lot of women out there. As soon as a man starts talking, he can't, he, there's nothing good a man can say to him. You know, or if he starts to express himself, they start to call him crazy or shame him for whatever reason. You know, so we keep it to ourselves. But a woman who listens and just understands who's pleasant for a good response to you, you know, you know, a woman like, I was talking to a woman one time in conversation, you know, I was telling her some wild stuff. But she was like, you know, that, she's like, no, nah, that, that's not crazy to me. She's like, don't, that don't sound crazy to me. That's your experience. That's, that's, that's your thought process. Tell me more about it. I want to know why you think that. I'm not judging you. I was like, oh, God. You know what I'm saying? I felt like crying. I was like, man, where did, where did she come from? You know? I was like, oh. I appreciate that. Now I was free to talk. That's all it takes. Just letting them in a little bit. You don't have to say this is a safe space, but just letting them know, like, look, look brother, you can talk to me. This is a safe space, but I'm not judging you. You know, you think differently. It's okay. Even if you don't, even if you agree with me at some point, she's like, well, look, I ain't agree with that. So let's talk about that. That's how you do it. You, it's not about agreeing with everything. It's about knowing how to talk to me. So yeah, indeed. Yes, indeed, yo. Yeah. yeah, click the link. You'll, you'll see the times, uh, the times up there. You just, just pick a time that works for you. It'll probably be available after this uh, video is over. I don't know if it's up there right now, but uh, when the video is over, it'll pop up. Well, go to one of the other videos. You can see it, see it in the description. Oh, I did. Did I skip you? Hold on. Oh, I did. You know what I mean? He said, yeah, I can tips for a dinner at home. Oh, the dinner. Oh, I mean, look. I love this part. A dinner at home. Yeah, so women are known for their nurturing spirits, their femininity, their peace. So a man coming to your home. I was talking to, I was talking to one of my best friends today. She's a, she's a lady. Look, she was telling me about she making a, she making her business to have her home very peaceful, no matter who comes by, you know. But in particular, she, if she did somebody, she have a man come by, she want that man to feel at home, at ease, at peace. I've been her apartment several times, and when I go over there, it's very peaceful. I just want to go to sleep. I'm like, man, got no peace in here. I, I feel, you know, I feel like we're walking to a secret garden or something. Like, man, I just want to sit down and just do something. You know what I'm saying? Study or something. You know, so make 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 your um one make your home very peaceful, very serene. Because men be stressed out, especially broken men be stressed out about stuff. And we all we are always on. You know, we're always like performing or gotta do this, gotta do that. So men men don't have many spaces where they can be at peace and just chill. So first, make it make it very peaceful, make it very serene. Show him that you are peace. You don't have to you don't have to go over the top. Just be peace. You know, and then you know. Make sure the food good. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said the other time, the old saying, the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And it's so real. You know, so because also uh, dates can be at home too. You know, so, you know, just set it up nice. You know, make, make it real chill. You can, you can maybe have some candles and things like that. You know, um, but make sure the food good. You know, and cook his uh, favorite food, stuff that he liked to eat. You know, Cause men are greedy, you know. Men love to eat. Women love to eat. Too. We all greedy, you know. We all greedy. But uh, cooking cook that you know he likes to eat, you know, and just make it good, you know, and all that good stuff. Because, like I said the other day, a woman cooking. Some some women see, oh, she being a slave cook. I never cook for a man. For y'all who say that, I feel sorry for you, because men love it when a woman cooks for them. You know, it reminds him of his mother. It reminds him of a wifely skill, motherly skill. It shows him that you can take care of him. You know, in the sense of you taking care of his body, feeding him right, that he's gonna be straight when he come. When he come. When he come back. Men want to know if you can cook or not. That's that's so real. I don't know if I can date a woman who can't cook because I'm from the south. I've seen too much. Cooking is is, a, is a, it's spiritual. It, it, it's not just you you serving him. You are serving him. But what's so bad about that? You know, because you get catered to all day by a man. You know what I'm saying? So a little cook ain't no man. Okay. But it shows him that you can serve him, that you can be in your feminine role, you know, and you're cool about it. You are happy about it. You know? And, and it shows him the type of woman he's going to get, the type of woman he has, or the type of woman he, the type of wife he's going to be. You know, I love a woman who enjoys cooking and don't see it as a task. You know, we can feel that. Just like you don't want to be with a man that him just treating you nicely 
feels like a task to him. Because you know it ain't real. You don't want to be the man like that. Because you be like, ah, you just open my doors a task to you. Now, now some people don't like open doors, whatever, like car doors. That's that's the whole thing. But y'all get y'all get the gist of what I'm saying. You know, but just treating you nice like a lady, complimenting you, making you feel safe. If that feels like a task to him, you be like, mm, I don't know about this dude. Because you're doing basic stuff. So you don't want a man like that. So just like a man don't want a woman, her being feminine and, and cooking and those things, it feels like a task to her. Or like she's doing too much and serving. My baby, what, why? You know? But anyway, but yeah, that's why. You know, see, I'm dating, I just started dating Nigerian Virgo, okay? Shout out to my Nigerian people. So far, so good, but the text message is hey, meh. I was glad that we definitely committed. And after he told me, I felt like I was a safe space for him. See, that's good. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Men want to feel like a safe space for you. Because, ladies, just like how y'all run into a lot of men who they talk a good game, but they just want to have sex or whatever, they all about the physical. You want something deeper? Like, okay, we can have sex. Yeah, that's cool. But I'm not all about that. Men want the same thing. They want to. Talk to a woman who they feel safe around, safe space. They can relax and chill and not be on. Because women that make you feel like that, it's a great thing. You know, you, you want to keep that woman around. You want to do things for her. You want to know more about her. You want to know why. What's in you to make you feel so safe? You know what I'm saying? Men like that. I'm trying to tell you. Men like that. Um, but the text man, yeah, I made a whole video about that. Regular don't text. We don't text. We don't talk. We hate it. You know, we are the worst texters on earth. So do not judge his attraction to you by his text messages. Because if you do, you might as well leave now because that ain't it. We don't text, man. We don't, our text messages be dry. I know my text messages be dry. If I, if I got judged how much I like to get off my text messages, I would never have ever been with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we hate texting, man. We got time for it. We use the phone. Like I said yesterday, we use the phone just for, like, setting up stuff. And like, look, when the meeting, what time got to be there, boom, that's it. We got stuff to do. Hate text, you should hate it. Some do like it and stuff like that, but not generally. You know, look, y'all, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. You know, I need more people to join the membership because the membership helps grow the channel and it helps support the channel. Because y'all see me more active in this channel. And uh, I'm about to get out there, man. I got my, I might go for a bike ride. You know, the weather's warming up a little bit. You know. Uh oh. I don't know. I think I froze. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know if y'all can see me or hear me. But my screen is frozen. Let me, look, let me look over here. Oh, my whole computer is frozen. All right. So let's, let's see if we can fix this really quickly. Um, Shout out to technology for selling me all day today. You know, but uh, hmm, I don't know. anyway, if y'all hear this, we're gonna be out. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be making up.
Oh. We back. <laughs> I, don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with his name, man. Y'all see me? Because I see y'all. Y'all see me seeing y'all? I don't know what happened. My computer froze up like a nun, y'all. Sorry about that. Um, but like I said, I'm working this thing out. I'm trying to get it together. Uh, you know. But we're trying to get it together. But I was, about to, I was about to end this thing anyway, because like I said, I'm about to go for a bike ride. So I just want to come to y'all and say I appreciate y'all for being here. Uh, this, this was a struggle stream this time. Today was a struggle stream. I'm trying not to have no struggle streams. You know, yeah, the, the Virgo Angel trying to shut us down, man. You know what I'm saying? The Virgo Apes. You know, he had a struggle stream today. But uh, I appreciate you guys. All right. Uh, I'm about to go for a bike ride, but y'all stay blessed, stay prayed up, like, share, subscribe. You already know, dude. You need to talk to me, hit the like or hit the link and all that good stuff. Uh, you schedule an appointment today, that's what it is. Uh, I'm gonna check it. Um, yeah, all right, good. I see it. So, yeah, y'all need to schedule an appointment. You know, do hit the link, baby. We're gonna talk until the next time. Y'all stay blessed.